While you were catching up with the sad news out of Paris, you may have missed the language translating megaphone, the workout towel your family meathead needs, and live closed captioning for the hearing impaired. Welcome to In Case You Missed It, where Helen Keller would marvel at how far tech has taken communication. I, I am not, not dumb, dumb now. No. You tell him, Helen. My name is Danielle France, and on behalf of France Innovators Inc., I bring you the Lifetime Closed Captioning System. Typically, new augmented or virtual reality news is focused around games, but some major props are due for this boy genius inventor. Daniel France created the Lifetime Closed Captioning System to help the hearing disabled. The Indiegogo campaign is for a head-worn display, which mounts to a pair of glasses or frames and connects to a microcomputer in the user's pocket. A connected microphone records conversations and the device translates them in real time. This gives immediate closed captioning in the display and richer conversations for the wearer. The LTCCS is wholly dedicated to providing closed captioning and is therefore perfectly suited to keep up with a real, live conversation. This kid interned at MIT when he was 14, so he's kind of a big deal. For those of you hitting the gym hard pre-holidays in a foolish effort to avoid the calorie gain that is coming for you, we have just the gym accessory you didn't know you needed. It's a towel, guys, just a simple towel. Only the video makes it obviously the most amazing towel in the world. First, it has a zippered pocket for your phone and crap, and also has an opening that lets you slide the towel over weight benches, because otherwise you know the crappy gym towels will just fall off in between reps. And you're not there to bend over and pick stuff up, you're there to lift. You know who needed this. I am hot. Yeah, I am Franz, and we are here to pop. You are. It has a magnetic tag to slap it onto things. And is it just me or is this looking better and better? The Kickstarter is live for a few more days and there's a rush Christmas edition for about 40 US dollars. And now I want one and hate myself. Risking awkward reactions and confusing passengers from everywhere, Narita International Airport in Tokyo will soon test a megaphone with a built-in translator. The bus will arrive shortly. Google Translate calls this thing a megaphone yak. What? Developed by Panasonic, the Megaphone Yaku is a smartphone powered megaphone that will automatically translate simple phrases from Japanese into English, Chinese, and Korean. It then repeats the translation at mega volume. Phrases like, your bus is coming, please proceed to gate five, and don't leave your yak unattended. We don't know. We don't speak Japanese. And finally, if you're looking for a little good news this week, maybe this will inspire you. Meet Ian Parkinson, an Army veteran and bilateral amputee. GoPro chronicled his return to skateboarding, which he wanted for the freedom he feels on a board. And just to know you can be yourself, and it's absolutely OK, I think it's just the best feeling in the world. Very inspiring. Bye, y'all.